Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm talking about the Mob um, Light 7 and 6. Uh, one of the problems has been the uh, camera angle and the amount that it moves around. Um, a lot of the reviewers are saying, well, just glue it in the place. The problem is once you glue it in place, uh, you can't change it. If you want a proximity fly, you're stuck with a camera lens that's maybe at a too big of an angle, but uh, that's on the existing as it is, that's one of the ways to do it, but it just moves too much. Um, and if you bump something, it's in a different position, and for racing, uh, you need something the same all the time. Um, so um, I think the best uh, solution to this, oh, then the other problem is, I know Albert Kim said he broke his board, he, he crashed upside down, and uh, a rock must have hit a a chip on there or something and loosened it up and it quit working. So a lot of people are saying, well, you could put cork over this or something to protect it. The time you do that, it's not going to dissipate the heat as good and it's going to add weight. So you might as well just add a canopy. Uh, this is a TPU strap that holds this into place. And uh, with the camera in, in the TPU, when I weighed it, it was two grams. Where if you take a Mob Mobula 6, the canopy and the camera weighs two and a half grams, so you're only gaining a half gram by adding a canopy that's adjustable with adjustable camera. You have the two screws that you could adjust it. In fact, uh, you could get down to a three tenths of a increase by, I have to take this off and weigh it, but looking at the spec sheet, this canopy here is a little lighter. This is from my UZ65. I was going to put a new frame on it anyway, so I'm going to just move it over and see how that works. Uh, I think this uh, would be about three tenths of a gram more because the canopy is a little lighter. And the advantage here is the canopy has four screws holding it in place instead of three, so it will be less chance of getting jello. Um, another option I looked at, uh, this is my uh, Ishin, uh, uh, 65 Pro. Uh, this has a really nice camera. It's uh, the uh, Ant camera. It's not the Ant light, but the actual Ant camera. But this adds quite a bit of weight. And this canopy here is a little bit heavier uh, than what the UZ65 uh, is. But if you wanted to have the best camera out there, um, you could just take the camera and the canopy from the uh, uh, US65 Pro. Um, so let me uh, put these different models together. The weight of the canopy and camera and foam piece is 2 grams on the Moblite 7. And there is the Moblite 7 without the canopy on it. Let's see what the canopy of the um, 65 Pro is. 1.3 grams. Let's weigh the camera and canopy of the UZ65. 2.6 grams. So that would be 0.6 grams more than the uh, strap and camera of the Mobilite 7. Let's see what the canopy and the uh, camera weighs of the Mobula 6. I have that right here um, with a little foam piece. 2.5, so that weighs a half gram more than what the Moblite camera and canopy weighs. So let's put this one on. Now I've placed the um, canopy from the Mobula 6 and camera on the Moblite 7. Let's see what it weighs. Total dry weight is 20.4 grams, which is either 0.4 or 0.5 grams uh, heavier than the original. Uh, but this um, will protect the board and it gives you a adjustable cam camera angle by loosening and tightening, tightening these screws. So it might be a worthwhile improvement. The other thing that I see on here is the VTX, this little copper wire here, is protected. It's, it runs along the side of the canopy so it doesn't get bent over all the time. So um, this might be a nice option. Um, might want to try the um, putting that camera on this canopy here uh, because it has the four bolts 
uh, it looks like it's about the same weight and uh, with the four bolts it might be steadier so we'll try to optimize on this and get the best thing but let's go ahead and try this now that it's bolted on flight with the canopy on it flies the same I couldn't tell the difference uh, the good things are the camera is locked steady in one spot and you're able to adjust it and it also uh, the canopy protects the uh, flight control board so I'm going to leave this um, canopy on one of my uh, on this particular Mobilite and test it for the next uh, several months I also have two other modifications that I'm looking at building. Uh, one would be to put the canopy and camera from the Mobula 6 HD on uh, to make like a cine whoop outdoors. I think uh, the um, seven um, or 75 millimeter frame with the 40 uh, millimeter props would uh, fly a lot better than the um, 65 millimeter frame and plus the long flight times uh, I think it would make a real small compact uh, center whoop for uh, light wind conditions. Then the other modification that I'm looking at doing is adding the uh, higher KV motors. Um, originally Banggood listed, uh, they were going to have the 22,000 uh, and the 25,000 motors, but I see they dropped the $25,000 or 25,000 KV from their uh, website. I want to see if I could find the motors uh, local here in the United States somewhere, and then I'll put those on and try it out. I'm still looking at finishing up my um, part two, which would be range testing and speed testing on the outdoor tracks. The snow and weather has not been cooperating here, but hopefully in the next couple weeks I'll get a little window where I can get outside and finish up that review. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And this is John from Chicago.